to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we are introducing our brand new stamp set, RAR, and its coordinating dies, so let's go ahead and check it out. So first up, I am going to stamp out that cute little dinosaur, and then he has some great accessories, either a hair bow or a bow tie, a little RAR bubble, and then a heart. Now, this sentiment is so great because you can kind of mix and match it. And it says, RAR means I love you in dinosaur. It means you can stack it or make it long or mix and match. The other really cool thing is that you could replace the I love you with other sentiments that you have in your stash. So it could say, RAR means happy birthday in dinosaur, for example. So you can really use this set all year, which is really awesome. Now here I'm using my Copic markers to add some color to this cute little dinosaur. And what's fun about the dinosaur is just getting creative with your coloring. I think even like a card with a rainbow of them would be really cute. In this case, I decided to do some aquas because I just love aqua, I just think it's so pretty. And so I'm just blending those colors out and just adding some shading around his curves, under his arms, around his legs, and that's gonna give him kind of that cool three-dimensional look. Now for his little spikes there, I'm gonna use kind of an olive green, and I really like the mix of this pink, aqua, and olive green together. I'm gonna to add a little warm gray to that raw speech bubble just to give it a little something. And then here are the coordinating dies, which you can bend apart at the tabs or separate with your wire snips. I'm gonna take that coordinating die and line it up with that cute little dinosaur, hold it in place with some post-it note tape, run it through my die cut machine, and I'll have a perfectly die cut image. Now here you can see how you can take that little bow tie there and make it either a hair bow or a little bow tie, which I think both are absolutely adorable. He can also hold that little heart too, which is really sweet. So now I wanna make a card with that cute little dinosaur. So I have my brand new Lacy Heart Stackable I've cut out of some chili pepper cardstock. And I'm gonna take the new outside in stitched hearts and die cut that from some chili pepper cardstock, some pink watercolor wishes paper, and also some noble fur cardstock too. Now once I have that noble fur cardstock all cut out, I'm gonna take my grassy border and just cut the bottom part of that. So that grass is gonna layer over my pink heart there. Now I'm gonna put that little grass down and I'm also gonna put my dinosaur down just so I have an idea as to where to stamp my sentiments. I'm gonna kind of move that sentiment around till it looks nice. Then I'm gonna pick it up with my Misty and then stamp it. And I'm double stamping it there just to make it nice and bold. So now I can take that pink heart and layer it on top of that lacy heart. And I love that kind of traditional Valentine look. I'm gonna add that little grass on there and then make this a little less traditional of a Valentine with the little dinosaur on there. And I just think that's so cute. Now to make this an actual card, I'm taking another one of those hearts there and I'm scoring it about three quarters of an inch down and folding that so that I can put it on the back of the card, making it a heart-shaped card. But I also want this card to be able to stand up so someone could display it on their mantle, for example. So I just trimmed off the little point of the heart there. And when you do that, the card is gonna stand up perfectly. I added some tape above that score line and I'm just gonna layer that right onto the heart and you can see how it's a cute heart-shaped card, but because I trimmed off that little piece, it can also stand up, which is really, really awesome too. Next up, I am going to be recreating an awesome card by Elise. And so this time I have a cute little purple dinosaur, kind of like a little Barney there, with a little pink bow and she's gonna also hold that little heart. Now here I have an outside in stitched scalloped rectangle and I'm gonna die cut that from some green watercolor wishes paper and some aqua watercolor wishes paper. So I'm gonna have two rectangles here that are the same size and now I'm gonna start die cutting some Finley's ABC's letters and I'm gonna die cut this with RAR, which is kind of part of the sentiment but now we're gonna make part of the sentiment die cut. So here you can see I've kind of layered everything where I think I want it to go and I'm gonna use a stitch till side border and all everything kind of where I think it's gonna go is gonna help me guide where I should put that stitch till side border. So I'm gonna hold that in place with some low tack tape and then I'll run it through my die cut machine and now I'm gonna have a hill that's gonna work perfectly for my whole seam. Now before I layer everything on, I wanna make sure that I stamp my sentiment. So I'm just stamping the means I love you and dinosaur since we're gonna replace the RAR with some die cut letters. Now I can finally layer that grass on top, add my cute little dinosaur with some foam tape and her little RAR bubble too with some foam tape. And then I can go ahead and add some cute little hearts around just to kind of push that Valentine's idea through here. Little hearts always make me happy. So I'm stamping that in some guava ink. And then I'm gonna use some glue here to layer those little Finley's ABC's die cut letters. And I think it's really fun to kind of substitute part of a sentiment with some die cut letters. It's really a, a bold, cool way to use it. 
Now here I'm creating a little card base here, a white card base, and then I'm gonna take some foam dots and add it to the back of that whole scene and just layer this right on top. And this card just makes me smile. It's just so adorable. Now next up I have some gorgeous cards by the design team to show you and I love this card by Yanea. It's absolutely adorable. I love the little scene and the colors that she used. This card by Lena is so cute. I love him on that pattern paper heart. This card here by Shari is just gorgeous. I love the pink and red together. It's so Valentine's and those stitched clouds in the background is really, really cool. This card by Leticia is awesome. I love the little heart she has kind of going at the diagonal. It's a really cool look. RAR is super cute combined with the new conversation heart add-on. I just love those two together here by Kristen. And then this card by Lizzie is so cute. I love how she took out part of the sentiment and replaced it with the love ya die cut. It's a really cool look. I love this card by Nicole. I love how she embossed those stitched hearts into it. It's just gorgeous. And this little guy is perfect for adding to treat boxes like Elena did too. And this is perfect for a birthday, so you really can use him for any occasion. He's really great for traveler's notebooks here, like Melissa's example, which is just so gorgeous. And then I love how Leticia created a cute little tag for a little gift, maybe for a kid's classroom. And then Audrey had the same idea, and I love how she combined it with the palm tree die cut. These colors are so fun and tropical too. So I cannot wait to see what you guys create with RAR, so make sure to share with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye!